Hey, Chief Sebi, indigenous, still the realest, there's no never minding me. Lost and found tribe of mud, and I should get paid a finder's fee. Y'all following these cats, dog, y'all really just let the blindness lead. If I had a choice, I'd kill all the rats in the world strictly. Mud tribe on the rise, we a whole revitalization of an ancient dynasty. You calling all you fakes the child, y'all be all the diners need. Y'all will get bit down like veggies trying to fight on me. You'll never find a chief who face the gun line as fast and find as me. I always keep an eye on me. I got no time to bleed, my mud eyes keep reminding me that I've been silent for two What's up, everybody? You now tuned in to Chief Sabian and this is, this is another podcast, and it is indeed time to speak. Now, I like my other intro better, but unfortunately, YouTube just sent me a copyright claim, and I thought I got the beat for the intro off of um, BandLab, but apparently I got it off of YouTube. Somebody claimed it was free, but apparently it wasn't so... I won't be using the intro anymore, but in the meantime, that video is on my channel. I mean, that song is on my channel, and it is money times. Now, going straight in. This podcast is about emotions, balance, natural rights, and modern medicine. Let's dive straight in. Higher, higher, higher power. Emotion is raw energy and motion that is primordial and wild. Having and showing emotion is as natural as the ability of conscious thought in all humans. Think how a stray bullet or a falling object gaining momentum and velocity in its random path of reaching a destination to do what by nature all things not live and do, which is to be still and unmoving, which is the exact opposite of all living things because we naturally never stop moving. But I'll get into that on another podcast. Object. Objects can hurt, kill, or damage when left on to its own mindless innocence because it's just an object. Emotion is a natural medicine produced by thinking beings. If properly prepared to feel and process emotion internally and comprehend the uses of its side effects, when suppressed or not interpreted, emotions become imbalances inside of the mind that can affect even the physical body. Each unique emotion produces a high like all drugs, some uppers, some downers. Sounds like medicine to me, right? All potent in their own nature through various degrees of perceptible effects. The comparison drawn in this bill isn't a figurative one, but a literal comparison of natural medicine versus man-made experimental medicine, perfection versus imitation, just another example of creation versus invention, creator versus the creation. You get it? Or creation, creator versus the created. Pardon me. Forever, the attempt of finite men to compete with the infinite power of the creator is a serious in threat or margin for success as Pee Wee Herman taking more than one glancing blow from Anderson Silver. That's a knockout. Why is the administration of medicine in doses fully dependent on the idea of a chemical imbalance in the brain? That's why medicine can only achieve a minimum level of success and results only through trial and error. The reason why so many humans are out of touch with reality and lack insanity is because of pharmaceuticals. Chemical imbalance is the cause of mental disorders. But how can the imbalance be balanced without a practical comprehension of the mind? Europeans have just begun to realize that there is something unseen within man. They have been allowed to tamper with thinking divine beings through dangerous experimentations. Taking the completely foreign concept of the unseen mind into account, we must see the implications and horrendous acts of mental disorders being fixed. By people who don't know anything about men- the mental, which is one part of the complexity of what is the mind. See, here in America, Halloween is every day, all day, for those who are capable of seeing the mass costume party that's called careers. Let's look closer at this atrocity, shall we? Through sheer luck but more likely through the butchering of the inhabitants of Africa in the name of medicine all those thousands of years. And 
those thousands of years of study and experimenting with man in the Eastern Hemisphere could not be used to any effect to the people inside the Western Hemisphere due to our genetically makeups being totally different. The indigenous people of America, which is the entirety of the Western Hemisphere, are the original perfect creations of the Most High, period. We are an ancient brainwashed race of divine beings who are being experimented on by a degenerate and fairly new race of devils. Color has absolutely nothing to do with being a devil either. For those who naturally try to categorize and marginalize any familiar concept with a certain group or school of thought by which you are finitely aware of. By that I mean I'm not Nation of Islam, I'm not 5%, I'm not any of those groups you know. I'm not pro-black, I'm not pro-any damn thing. Nor a member of, nor ever have been of any organized community of conscious thinkers, religious or otherwise. I clarify that because I'm not some student or believer to regurgitate things I've been told. And things that I haven't studied. I accept Christ as my Lord and Savior. I know that God exists. I know that the Creator is the Most High. And I know that we have a divine purpose on the earth. And I know that Christ's consciousness can be realized in us all. Period. I don't believe in beliefs. Period. Nor will I ever endorse any kind of concept or anything. Period. That I don't know it as solid truth. Anything I say is original. Or so unique. That the way we relay it in bills is fresh and new to me. Expressing the truth in a format of building, which I'm the master of all builders, is done spontaneously and uniquely every time. I'm Chief Sabi Indigenous of the Mud Tribe, and my information can only be fully appreciated through a clear, unbiased mind proceeding with the build. Let's see how, in our capacity of tribal medicine man or healer, with a respectful, if finite, because I'm only a man, level of understanding and overstanding, of the mind would treat a mental disorder. This is how I would diagnose it. Now on the flip side, check this out. Oblivious to what a mental disorder is, yet amazingly knowing that that is the problem. Doctors don't have the simplicity in the treatments of the said order. Now look, this is the breakdown on mental disorder. Mental which is of and pertaining to the mind, and disorder, which is actually two concepts combined into one in the form of a word that doesn't define either. D-I-S, or dis, translate as opposite of or out of, and when put in front of order, it literally translate as out of order. Just like the inventions display out of service or out of order, like a soda machine when it's just ran out of cans. Y'all get the concept. I keep stressing how all things man-made are just results of the study of the perfection which is spirit clothed in flesh, which is the human body. So now, with the mental disorder translated into out of order, it's easy to immediately see where mental health practitioners are in error. They see disorder, meaning defective and broken. We know it to be a natural occurrence of imbalance which needs to simply be balanced to completely heal it. Mental sickness and bodily sickness are both just imbalances. When balanced properly, we gain a strengthening of our immune system, mental immune system, or physical, natural, bodily immune system. Balance is brought about uniquely with each individual's intricate imbalances imbalances treated according to its appearance. Chemicals being used in place of medicinal plants is also an error that is in opposition to healing powers of balance. This is because plants are examples of the perfection of their individual species. They are living sources of nutrition that were created before man, yet divinely being the only impurest form of sustenance for man. We're not naturally meat eaters. With medicine being used in an attempt to change something that is perfectly formed is damaging to the balance of perfection. Medicine is given through prescription. How can you prescribe 
something that hasn't pre-existed. How can you pre, which means beforehand, scribe, which translates in this word as made. So they give pre-made cures to imbalances that are never before seen because every imbalance is different and unique in its occurrence. Yet millions of individuals are damaged daily with medicine created with the unintelligent belief that illness in the same is the exact same in every person, which is impossible and insane because the great God created us all individually. All nine billion people on this planet, on this excuse me, on this plane called Earth, are unique creatures. Therefore, any manifestation of imbalances or disorder in the mind or body is unique. See, the so-called fathers of medicine out there in Europe do not know anything about the mind or anything about the cellular or molecular level of healing which it takes to balance out our balances and then when I say our I'm talking about the billions of brown different shades of brown people in the world not taken away from the culture of European medicine in at all in all actuality, being a realist, the only realist, I must admit that there is a possibility that their treatment works for them. But I proclaim emphatically that the healing of people of any of the millions of shades of brown, the billions of shades of brown, is a much more delicate, intricate, and unique process of balancing and restoring order to perfection. Notice that even though fueled by an absolute pride in my indigenous people, I must speak up in the case of healing for all of the wrongly diagnosed and mistreated peoples of the world. We are intelligent thinking beings with divine spirit of the creator within us. That ruh. We are here for the pursuit of happiness and striving for the perfect unity of self. Medicine is not evil in and of itself, but the process of giving experimental medication to a billions of unique individuals for billions of different unique illnesses is an act of chemical warfare which is inhumane and outlawed by all law of the land. But the greatest violation is the careless tampering and damaging life in its most highest manifestation which is man. This is blasphemy and the hidden notion that either the creator made a mistake or that there is no creator at all. Pure blasphemy. We must encourage the adaptation of natural healing over the practice of medicine and doctrine. When will we start standing up for natural rights? I want to point out that civil rights has, is, was, and always will be a scam. The human rights are mandatory and should not be violated or allowed to be denied to any. But, pardon me. But in this day and era, a concept of natural rights must be developed and refined into standards that must and will be forced to remain obligatory and upheld by even those who are unnatural to this plane. We are the rulers of this plane. God is a title that means ruler of the land. The most high is the most high. The creator is the creator. God is both. Pardon me, pardon me. The creator who is the supreme God, the most high, made the indigenous people of this plane incarnations of self with free will and intricate potential for greatness. Let it be known that Chief Sabian indigenous in any and all manifestations in perfect unity and of wholeness with itself, the fearless leader in the consciousness manifest of excuse me, the Christ consciousness manifest of the mud tribe is willing to be the front line of offense and defense for natural rights of all creations and examples of a lot of God's expression of perfection by creation. But firstly, I war for our own people who are the descendants of the original inhabitants of this land and the image and likeness of the creator himself. We are the vicegerents of God in flesh, rulers being ruled by inferior, inferior beings. In conclusion of this bill, let it be known that the facts which are expressed in this lesson are absolute truths and are in direct opposition to the violation of human and natural rights. Society in and of itself is not to blame for its evil nature. But once the violation of natural rights and human rights are made known by any and all in all manifestation of defiance of the creator and his chosen people, divine punishment will be delivered swiftly to all those who are in opposition. Keep being inhumane to inhumanity, which is sick and the illness to be placed on nature and be balanced out like all other disorders. I'm chief indigenous 
Realist to realist and I'm gone. Y'all, mercy is a swift action of balance. The only way we could ever be wrong is naturally healing creation.